Here at SES we specialise in mechanical and electrical engineering services. We have a solid reputation for technical excellence, innovation and quality. We are however by the very nature of our work often involved on construction sites. We are very proud of our excellent safety record and our first class safety management systems. I believe that accidents don't just happen, there is always a cause. Safety must be your first priority. It could save you or your fellow workers from injury. It could even save your life. This film is designed to highlight the serious safety hazards that we all face on site and the systems and initiatives that SES has in place to prevent accidents and incidents. Good safety is a joint effort. Everybody must have an input, be aware of the surroundings and have a positive attitude to safety at all times. We want everyone to realise that cutting corners, taking shortcuts or putting yourselves and others at risk is not acceptable. We want you to take an active part in improving site safety and report anything you think that is unacceptable to your site supervisor. Above all, we want everyone who works on our sites to work safe, be safe and above all, get home safe. The following are all serious site safety hazards and must all be properly managed and controlled. Falls from height are the main cause of fatalities and serious injuries in the construction industry. It's therefore essential that work at height tasks are properly managed and the correct access equipment is selected. Fixed scaffolds must only be erected, altered or dismantled by suitably trained, competent and authorised scaffolders. Mobile aluminium scaffold towers must be used in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions and must only be erected, altered or dismantled by PASMA trained operatives. Mobile elevating work platforms must only be operated by IPATH trained operatives. Use a safety harness whenever conditions allow and a secure anchor point is available. Ensure the correct type of lanyard is selected. Site management must ensure that all persons are suitably trained to use and operate all items of access equipment. All access equipment must be regularly inspected by a competent person and signed off as safe to use. Podium steps can be used to access low-level work areas and must be used in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. When working at height, please remember, always take extra care, use the safest means of access, ensure that all access equipment is fit for the proposed purpose, check and ensure the floor is sound, safe and level, be spatially aware at all times, ensure that all work at height equipment complies with the principal contractor's or client's policy, and remember, don't go for the easiest option, go for the safest. SES and subcontract employees will not work in any area where asbestos is discovered or suspected until an asbestos survey of the correct type has been carried out and written assurance, backed up by a clean air certificate, is produced by the client or principal contractor. Asbestos training will be carried out on all projects where asbestos is an issue to raise awareness and help reduce the risk of exposure. Costain and SEF have a long-standing relationship. We've worked together over a number of years across all of our sectors within the UK. Safety is Costain's number one priority. It has to be an integral part of what we do in our everyday lives, and we need contractors like SES who have an equally high priority within safety. That is one of the reasons why they're a strategic partner for Costain and one of the reasons why they're one of our partners for progress. 
SES recognises that the electrical energisation phase of any project is potentially a very hazardous time. For this reason, great emphasis is placed on electrical safety and the SES low voltage safety procedure. This procedure must be strictly observed and there must be no deviation from the procedure at any stage of the project. My name's Nick Reid, I'm an SES electrical supervisor. I've been working in the electrical industry for 27 years. So I have seen accidents happen. SES take health and safety extremely seriously and they really look after us and our welfare. An essential part of electrical safety on SES sites is the Going Live initiative. A Going Live presentation will be carried out on all sites prior to energisation to inform on legislation and the hazards associated with electrical work, as well as the procedures SES have in place to help ensure safe conditions. It's absolutely essential that modern uh, specialist contractors are totally dedicated to health and safety on site. The ECA is really pleased to support the SES Going Live initiative. We think it's a very good example of leadership and commitment within the specialist contracting industry. Electrical safety is all about big hazards but turning them into non-existent risks and we believe that this initiative is a great contribution to that. Every year, hundreds of workers suffer serious injuries and families are destroyed by the effects of workplace accidents. But we believe that the vast majority of accidents are preventable and that a change of attitude and raised awareness would save a great deal of pain and suffering. Sounds obvious, but everyone must think before they act. You must make sure you have the correct tools, equipment and PPE to do the job safely and ensure that you're aware of the risks associated with the task if you're unsure or unhappy with any part of the work, ask your supervisor to explain. SES does not want or expect any SES or subcontract employee to cut corners or take unacceptable risks. Work tasks must be controlled and systems implemented to reduce risk to the lowest practical level. Safety suggestion and stop, review, action cards are available on all sites to encourage operatives to make any suggestions for improvement or to highlight good safety practices. That is what behavioural safety is all about. We believe that the actions of the workforce reflect the actions of the site management team. Those in a supervisory position must ensure that all operatives are correctly briefed on the work to be carried out and that risk assessments, method statements and permits to work are fully explained and understood. Whatever the situation, workers react in a far more positive manner when a good example is set and maintained. If you're supervising or managing a task, that example must be set by you. It's absolutely essential for the business, for the people involved, and uh, there's no cutting corners these days. Safety is absolutely essential on site. It has to be an integral part of what we do day in, day out. It's morally unacceptable to send people home in a different condition to what they came to work in. I trust you found the information in this film both interesting and important. The messages it contained, I hope you can take with you every day in your working career. We really do need our construction sites to be safe places to work and we can only achieve this with your attention, awareness and input. Safety really is our number one priority. Thank you very much and remember, please work safe.